welcome back to my channel. So I am starting a new series called the horoscope series and in this video I am starting off with Aries first because they are the first in the zodiac sign. And as you can see this is my Aries look right here so if you guys are interested in seeing how I came up with this then just keep on watching. So I am starting this video off with my base and brows on already since my routine has pretty much stayed the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my J-Cat Beauty. This is the Hollywood eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this very dense eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go right into this deep dark brown and really just apply that into my crease. And really what I'm doing here is just really laying down the colors. I know it's not looking all the way blended but I will do that in just a moment. So if you guys know anything about Aries, they do tend to have intense sharp eyes and that is why I decided to go with a smoky eye look today. Go ahead and take that color and pull it down towards the outer corner of my eyes. Just gonna do a pretty smoky look here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm really just gonna pick up this taupey nude shade right there and of course everything looks very harsh so I'm gonna go to the outer edge of that brown and blend everything out. And since I did go ahead and lay down the darkest color first, I'm just making sure that those edges are extra blended out. This does take extra time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that dense eyeshadow brush again and also with more brown eyeshadow product, I'm just gonna lay that onto the crease since I did lose some pigment from earlier. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my blending brush again and really blend out those edges. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Stila. This is the Glitter and Glow in shade Smoldering Satin. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my lower lid. And what I really like about this is that it also creates a really nice clean cut crease. Also, I think adding this really helps intensify Aries' eye look because of the color contrast. Aries is just one of those signs that has a really dark, deep, intense eye look, yet so welcoming, nice, and kind, if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline Eye Studio and the brush that it came with. I am going to go ahead and create a pretty dramatic winged eyeliner. Alright, now moving on to lashes, I am going to go ahead and take my Vegas Nay in Glamour and just apply that as close as I possibly can to my lash line. And since I do want this eye look to be pretty intense, I'm going to go ahead and push my lashes up just to add more intensity. And there you go, I have both of my eyes done in just seconds. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to go ahead and take this Nick K liquid lipstick and apply that all over my lips. This shade is called Milano Red. I think this explains Aries personality so well in that they are impatient and they throw tantrums. Which probably explains why they tend to be leaders and sometimes is somewhat bossy. And I mean this in the nicest way possible. Now taking the same liquid lipstick and a detailing brush, I'm just going to go ahead and open the tube up and take some onto the brush and apply that all over my lower lash line. And I'm just lightly going to sweep that onto the lower lash line. This liquid lipstick that I'm using is a somewhat drier formula that I'm used to, so that is why I am going in with a very light hand. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. blending brush and my Kat Von D palette with that middle shade. I am going to go ahead and blend out that red that I just placed underneath my eyes and that is just to help blend everything out and soften the look up. Now taking my Rimmel Scandal Eyes black eyeliner, I'm just going to place that into my lower waterline. Doing this not only is going to add more intensity to this Aries look, but it's also going to help balance the lower lid with the top lid. Time for mascara. Today I'm going to use my Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour. This is definitely my favorite at the moment and I am just going to apply that to my lower lashes. Ooh. 
Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and take some singles and apply them to my lower lashes. I'm just gonna put one right in the center first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place another single on the third out corner of my eye. And lastly, I'm gonna place one on the third inner corner of my eye. Adding these singles definitely helps intensify the Aries eye look. Moving on to blush, I am taking the Tarte in shade Party and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Normally skip blush altogether, but because I am on Aries right now, I wanted to add some color into their cheeks because it brings out their fresh, innocent side to them. Moving on to highlight, this is the Ofra in shade Blissful, I believe, and I am taking my Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna apply that to the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, also down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on the chin and forehead. So what I'm doing right here is literally taking eyelash glue and putting a little dot right on top of my lips, and I'm gonna go ahead and place a rhinestone right after that. So I'm basically going to repeat this step until I cover my whole entire lips in rhinestones. So I know this step is super extra, but I think this is the perfect way to represent Aries fire sign. And if you didn't know, Aries is a fire sign as well as Leo and Sagittarius. And just a little fun fact, it is said that the fire signs are the sexiest signs in the zodiac. I know some people are going to disagree, but what do you think? Comment down below. Whether you agree or not, I think we can all say that the color red is very sexy. Time for the reveal, this is how it came out. To add further details, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on my lips to the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a total of three rhinestones. And I also went ahead and did the other side as well. So right now, I am splitting my hair down the center of my scalp. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create two braided Dutch braid on the side of my head because Aries is actually the sign of a ram and I am braiding it to represent the horns of a ram. And to finish this look off, I'm gonna take a beaded string and a black jewel, connect them together, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dangle it down the center of my forehead. And there you go, this is the final look guys. To all my Aries out there, how did I represent you guys? Please comment down below. Next up is going to be Taurus, so look out for that. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.